So uh, this is the Art and Success Pro membership live Q&A call, November 13th, 2021. Welcome to all of you. I'm so happy to have you here. And this is for anybody who is interested in learning more about my brand new pro membership. And I want to thank all of you for being here. I know you have a lot of questions and we're here to answer them. Obviously, there are a lot of memberships out there, gain a lot of value from workshops, but this is not a workshop and it's not a course. So um, the question is, why should you join Pro? Well, one thing that I can offer you with the Pro membership, obviously, it's a direct connection to me and I love to teach. I've been painting forever, it feels like, and I've been around the block a lot. And what I'm really happy to share with everybody is that I'm really just like you. I struggled for many years. I was frustrated for just as many years. And I'm kind of like the queen of procrastination, or at least I used to be. And I made a ton of detours that wasted a ton of time. I lacked confidence and belief in myself. And I honestly cringed when people would ask me what I did um, because my first attempt was to get a degree in biochemistry. And that would have been fine. Like, oh, I'm a biochemist. But if, if I had to say I'm an artist, I knew what the next question would be. And that would be like, oh, what kind of work do you do? And decades ago, I would want to run away. Uh, so if you guys ever feel that way, again, you can share how you feel when people ask you, oh, what do you do? What kind of art do you do? How you feel when people ask you that one question it says a lot about you. Uh, and it's not that you don't have talent, that you don't have skill, that you don't love art. A lot of that has to do with just not knowing the visual language of art and how to express yourself. So that's what we work on a lot in this pro membership is it's all having to do with you. I encourage you to work with me because I know exactly how you feel. I have been there. And I'm the first one to tell you that. And pro is also your long-term solution to sustainable artistic growth. Later on in this presentation, I'm going to point out the difference between long-term solutions and short-term quick fixes, because I think there's a pretty big difference between the pro membership and other quick fixes. So pro is not like any other membership. And I wanna point out that these are not our pro members. <laughs> um, we may feel like this, really happy and like we're, you know, jumping out of an airplane, we do take risks and things, but these are not our pro members, just to point that out. So uh, how my pro membership differs from any other membership is that when you join, you follow my success path at your own pace. You save time because I'm going to help you simplify the learning curve. I'm going to help you improve faster. Each master class provides another step up. I will help you overcome fear and procrastination by helping you to really understand play. Uh, play is that time when, if you think back to when you were very, very young, three-year-old, uh, four-year-old, five years old, um, you never thought about results. You didn't care what other people thought, and you were you're at your most creative. Uh, you can recapture that as an adult, and that's part of my mission in pro. I want to help you gain confidence so that you can critique your own work. I used to have a membership group that was dedicated only to critique. I ran that for two years and I loved our group, but I came away thinking, you know, there's something missing. Critique is wonderful, but in the end, we must be able to know ourselves so well that we can critique ourselves. Uh, and sure, it's always good to get feedback, but the bottom line is that you know yourself so well, and that's what we want to get you to, so that your understanding of design and color is so strong that, yes, it's, it's great to have feedback, but deep in your heart, you know when you've hit the design that is your personal voice. In the Pro Membership, there is no competition. Your success path is unique and personal. In Pro, we emphasize your personal growth and creative journey. And once you know who you are, you will not need the approval of others. So for those of you on the call who are not, who are on the waiting list and um, waiting to join Pro, how does that sound to you so far? Let me know in the chat, please. So I wanna explain what makes the Pro membership um, uniquely different from any other membership that I'm aware of. It does have a success path. And as I said, because my path was so circuitous, so bumpy, so rocky, 
full of uncertainty, frustration, procrastination, you name it. I look back on my 30 years and I say, gosh, if only somebody would have just given me a clear pathway, like what should I do first? What should I do next? My artistic growth would have been so much faster. And it's not about, you know, going fast necessarily, but if we can, if we can cut that learning curve down to, you know, a shorter amount of time, then we can spend more time creating the work we love in the life we have. My pro success path begins at the beginning. It has to start with you. So I call this very first part of my success path, discover your soul. Who are you? What do you love? Now, this is a time for introspection and to look at your life because your life has clues. So the first thing we must do is spend some time getting to know who we are. And the next stage is play. In the play stage, as I mentioned, this is a time when we get to uh, not worry about results. It's all about really getting to know these seven design elements. And if you're not familiar with this, don't worry. The seven design elements are listed right here. Line, color, shape, size, texture, direction, and value. If you were to hear any of these words, you know exactly what they are. But it's a little bit more involved than that when it gets to art and your painting. So the whole point of the master classes that help you dive into these seven design elements, the purpose is to learn how to use the seven design elements to create your unique personal visual language of art. It's just like our English language. If we don't understand how to put letters into words, words into sentences, sentences into paragraphs, we have a very hard time communicating. So this is all we have as artists. We only have seven design elements. We better understand them very well and know how we feel about line. How do we feel about color? How do we expand our understanding and awareness as they pertain to us and our art? Very, very, very important. Next, we dive into explore. Now, this is when we start to make sense of all the research we've done here. So this is kind of like research as we play. So we get to learn as we play. And then we take all of those things we found out about ourselves. And now we need to compose all that information that we want to express in a meaningful way. How are we going to do that? We are going to do some looking into eight abstract compositions. It has to do with how we arrange the design elements into a composition. And abstract composition can be applied to any genre of art, whether it's realism, semi-realism, abstraction, etc. You will find these abstract compositions in any form of art, and I'll be showing you lots of examples to show you that. So this is at least three master classes as we explore abstract composition. And then we move on to clarify. So we've thrown things into these compositions and we're starting to really like them, but you know, maybe we know that they're not done yet. So how do we put in those final touches? Well, that's where we learn the skills of clarifying our work so that what we're trying to say is clear to ourselves and to others. Um, it's a time for refining and editing. And both of these right here involve expressing yourself clearly with powerful design and personal color. Some of you know that I have an online course with that very same name because it is that course that is kind of like the foundational course and the pro membership happens to build on that online course. The final portion of the pro success path is celebrate. We do discuss professional topics, but as we found and discussed in our pro membership, we celebrate all types of success. You know, if you overcome procrastination and fear, we want to celebrate that. If you've gotten into a great show, we want to celebrate that. If you have, you know, reached out to your art community and formed a new art group, that's a form of success. So there is no one kind of success. And that's how everybody's success path differs. There are no two people we're going to have the very same success path. It just isn't possible. But what we do find is that as we progressively go from here to here, uh, the, the numbers of master classes that you get in each one of these segments here builds. It's kind of like climbing a hill. Okay. So you don't want to go to the, you don't want to join and jump over to celebrate. You really want to start here and then go here and then go here 
And I think that's made pretty clear. So um, let me go on to the next slide. Pam, we've got some great comments about okay. pe the people who are currently in pro and mm -hmm. and how they just have learned so much and oh. and mostly, you know, finding their voice and becoming more confident. Okay. And uh, so, yeah, it's it's great in there so far. If you want to read any of the comments or if anyone wants to speak out, um, either, you know, Lisa, feel free to, I, I can't see chat at all. So that's okay. That's yeah. okay. Yeah. Uh, Valerie says she's learning with your help and the group to uh, tell the tricksy inner critic that wants to sit on her shoulder just where to go. So that's great. <laughs> that's a great <laughs> and, one. Yeah. And um, Shelly, she says, I refer to my education with Pam as a form of osmosis. It just keeps sifting through her brain without her realizing it. So that's <laughs> fun. Thank and Tariel is more confident and she talks about how the group is so welcoming and supportive and uh, Jennifer and Rob and uh, everybody is talking about how, you know, just their confidence. Mm -hmm. And well, Rob even mentioned, I don't know if you want to unmute Rob. Yes, yeah, so Shelly mentioned about imposter syndrome. And um, yeah, I just mentioned that that's one of the things that through Pam, I kind of became less and less, uh, became less and less of a problem without me even really noticing it. Just sort of happened um, as a kind of side effect, I guess. It wasn't an overnight thing, but right. confidence grows definitely gradually through, through pro as well, certainly. Oh, that's wonderful, yeah. Rob. Thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, thank you. And he said that he creates for himself, not for others, because it's just their opinion. And that's something, you know, it's, it's hard to hear somebody's opinion and not get all worried about it until you're confident in yourself. So I thought that was great. Yes. This is definitely um, a long-term plan. I think pro is all about the long-term. And, and again, I'm going to talk about long-term versus short-term because uh, as artists, we need to be in the game for the long haul and not do what I did where I stopped painting for 10 years. And I have my reasons for doing that. And it, I plateaued and got frustrated and the whole thing wasn't fun for me anymore. I don't want that to happen to you or anyone. So the whole idea of the success path is stay in the game, slow and steady wins the game. And it's not a race. Uh, this is about each individual person staying in the game and being present and, you know, having that dedication to themselves and showing up in their studio. There's nothing more important than just showing up. And, and to me, that is a high level of success. If you can just do that, you've got a huge accomplishment right there. And we need to acknowledge that. So thank you all for your wonderful comments. I really, really appreciate it. And that's the thing about our pro membership is that I, I just love this group. It's so supportive and I myself find encouragement and support from all of them. And I myself learn from the master classes. I've been painting for 30 years and I'm having new aha moments all the time. So uh, it, it doesn't matter what level you're at. Now with, with regard to the powerful design personal color course, I would just want to point out that if you're in this course, this membership is a custom fit for you because everything that I talk about in powerful design and personal color is taken to a much deeper level. Uh, we go much deeper into who you are, uh, what design elements speak to you, how you wish to express your personal voice. Again, I talk about abstract compositions, which was not even talked about at all in the course. It's something I've added, you know, kind of like to my thought process later. It's something I really feel you must have. And I really do feel that the best thing for artists is to learn and grasp the tools that help them to critique their own work. Everybody wants to have someone else critique their work, but ideally this comes down to you are your own best critic and you are also your own harshest critic. So part of this is to separate that left brain from being too hypercritical and shutting you down to gaining that confidence on the right side of your brain and understanding what's working, what's not working and how to fix it. You yourself are, are going to gain the tools in my pro membership to help fix the problems. Okay. So that you don't feel you need to rely on other people to do it for you. That's my goal for you.
Margaret um, was asking if we need to have taken PDPC to join. Uh, yeah, that's a great question. Uh, no, you do not. I highly recommend it, but it is not required. And uh, for those who join the pro membership, I offer some very nice discounts on all of my online courses, but especially PDPC, because I do believe that that is the wonderful fit. It's like a hand in a glove and I offer a 50% discount. So by joining as a pro member, that's one of your benefits. So let me go over what exactly is in pro. So the Art and Success Pro membership includes 24 seven access to all master classes. So right now we have um, three that have been published and there's another one that's going to open soon. And again, they're following the success path. And as long as you're an active member, you can have access to the master classes. And again, I, I definitely recommend you follow them in order. They are in the order of the success path. I can't really emphasize that enough. And each one has lessons and exercises and projects to help you understand this one main targeted topic. It should be made crystal clear to you that if you grasp this targeted topic, and then you move to the next class and you get the next targeted topic, you are filling your toolbox with long-term sustainability. And that's what you need to carry you through this very tough journey. I'm not going to tell you that being an artist is easy. It's not. It's very, very difficult if you don't have the right tools. So my job here and my focus and mission is to give you the tools you need to day by day, month by month, year by year, stay in the game, show up in your studio, have fun, play, have success, however you define success. We have one live Q&A call per month, but as we grow, I will be popping into Facebook more often and doing short videos. And we also have 24 seven access to the searchable watch and go library, which now has over 150 plus hours of video. Those are my tutorials, my demos, my critiques, my interviews, uh, tips and all kinds of things. And I add more to that every month. So it's kind of like my spillover. If there's more things that I want to relate to you, but I don't want them as like cluttering the master class, I'll put them in the library because that in itself is a separate membership, but it's included uh, in the pro membership. We have a private pro Facebook group. Uh, this is a very unique group of artists that I would say um, I've, I've had, you know, I've created many groups and I see all kinds of dynamics and I'm always very aware of dynamics in a group. You know, is it a giving, supportive, encouraging group? And absolutely, this is the, about the highest level group I've ever formed. Uh, and you can tell that by the types of comments and posts we get, you know, people genuinely care if you post something and they will uh, not only support and encourage you, but uh, we are learning the visual language of art. Again, this ability to describe color and line and shape and value and texture and direction, all the design elements are part of our language. And that's what makes this group different because we're not just trying to say, oh, that's a nice painting because that's not going to do it. We're not after likes. That's not about likes. Okay. The private Facebook group here is about growth and supporting your individual journey. We do member spotlights, studio peaks, art bites, which are provided by Tim O'Neill, our art historian, ponder casts, which are listen only audio casts so that you can be painting while you listen. Again, I'll pop into Facebook regularly. If I see somebody has a question and I just want to like, you know, chat, Again, discounts up to 50% off of my online courses, monthly newsletter that kind of wraps up everything that happened that month so that if you were gone on vacation or you weren't feeling well, uh, just by reading the newsletter, you're going to get a really nice snapshot of everything we did. Now, all this is for $20 a month, and it's a forever price, meaning that the price of this group, since it's only open twice per year, every time it opens, it has six more months of master classes. And I expect to keep that going. So uh, the success path is currently, my, according to my plan, a 12 month success path, which means that after the first year, uh, we start the success path over again. But this time, everything we do is at a higher level. So imagine you're climbing a mountain and the mountain has switchbacks. I live in Montana. And if you don't know what a switchback is, a switchback is kind of like a zigzag up the mountain. Okay. It, it allows you to 
climb the mountain without getting discouraged and frustrated and tired, where you feel like, you know what, I'm tired. I'm going back home. If you didn't have that switchback, you would get exhausted. So the switchback is there to make your climb up this mountain doable. Doesn't matter how fast you go. It just matters that you stay on that trail so that you can get yourself to the top of the mountain, which is where the happiness and the creativity that just flows out of you, you know, seemingly effortlessly because you've learned how to play. That's where that all happens. So again, the only thing you have to do is remain a subscriber, active subscriber, and that cost per month is a forever price. It will never go up for you. I do have a couple questions. Yeah. Sure. Margaret asks if there's a usual time for live Q&A. If so, when? That's okay. the first one. And then Shelly said she did not know that pro continues on and on. I, I'm, I'm very open to feedback. And as I get feedback and as I see the progress of members, am I going to quit this after 12 months? Like stop uh, raising the bar? No way. Uh-uh. Not with this group. I can see so much progress and we're all in this together. We learn from each other. So the success path is a cycle. Um, if you didn't see the arrow that points way back to the beginning, it is a cycle. It is not a one, uh, one trip through. When is the live Q and A? Yeah. Okay. So we've done polls and we can certainly do more surveys to find the best time. You know, we've got people from all around the world, but right now the calls are uh, on a Thursday at 2 PM mountain standard time. So that people in Australia, New Zealand, you know, they're up really, really early in the morning, but they can make it. Those in England, UK, um, France, Italy, uh, they can be on there as well. It's late, 10 p.m. ish. Um, if we get so big that I need to have two calls, uh, different, totally different times, I will do that. But again, it's all uh, according to what's needed. Margaret just asked if they are all recorded. And yes, they are, Margaret. And they're on the website. Yes. Um, in that way, you have access 24 seven and um, there's a lot more to this, but every single video is searchable. So if you want to find something, you can't remember which video it was. Um, I, I invested in my art and success school so that you would have search technology, um, the ability to download transcripts of any video word for word, everything I said. I mean, I can't imagine anybody wanting to know everything I said. <laughs> um, but if you do, you can download the transcript. You can also see captions. If you're like your husband's in the next room, he's like, could you please turn that down? Well, turn the captions on and, and you can have your cake and eat it too. So that's all in there. So what will you gain from your pro membership? Why should you do this? Because I know there are a lot of other things out there you can choose from. Number one, you need to have a certain level of confidence to be yourself. And we all get inspired by other artists and we're kind of like these filters and we, we tend to learn from other people. That's a great thing. But in the end, as all this, we collect all this information from Pinterest and galleries and museums and artists we follow and workshops we take. And we're like, we're this gigantic filters, all this stuff. We take it in, goes through the sieve. And then we have to decide which of those things to keep and which of those things not to keep. Art is full of questions. We constantly ask ourselves, is it, is it this red or that red? Is it this value or that value? Do I like this? Do I not like this? So it's a process of asking yourself questions, but asking yourself the right questions and not being hard on yourself. And that's the left brain, which I, I can, I can vouch for that. The left brain is very, very tough on most of us artists. Uh, you need to conquer fear and procrastination, or you will not even make it into your studio. So we must do that. Again, the step-by-step -step success path at the very foundation of everything here is you must understand color and design. And if you don't have this, uh, this is, this was probably the biggest thing that for me didn't even happen until I was uh, after my MFA. Um, and as soon as I gained all of this, which was in my earlier books in watercolor, but I just didn't, you know, sometimes you have to hear things multiple times before you understand it. And learning is that way. So all of my online courses and everything I have is like 24 seven access. And if it's a course, it's lifetime access, because I don't want for you to purchase a course, take it and then be like, you get it, but then you forget it. And then you have to take it again. And then you have to take it again. I mean, to me, you learn things by repetition. Okay. And I want you to feel and see your progress. If you don't feel and see your progress, either you're not doing anything uh, or we need to help you and step in. And I'm right here to help you do that. I want you to see your progress. 
I want you to reach higher levels of personal expression. I'm doing that. I'm, I'm not satisfied with where I am and I never will be. And I hope that I want you to have that attitude. Don't be satisfied. Always reach higher. Take the path that is more difficult because otherwise you're not going to grow if you're comfortable. So we have to get out of our comfort zone and learn from each other. And that's what we do in our community. Here's a lovely painting by Shelly, who's on our call. She's one of our pro members. And uh, she was also in my master class. I've known her for a long time. Now I want to point out for, because we have a lot of members who are like in pro right now, and we have people who are going to be joining in that small period between November 22nd and December 5th. So I want to point out that you all are going to benefit. There are advantages to either side. If you're new or if you're a current member. Now, if you're new, uh, you get to learn from those who've gone before you uh, because they have posted a lot of things. It's all in the pro Facebook group. Everything's already there, ready and waiting for you to start your success path at masterclass one, and then to go to number two. Unlike those who are already in the membership, you don't have to wait. The founding members had to wait uh, for new information every week. And for some, that was too fast. They wanted more time to spend on a masterclass. And for others, it was perhaps too slow. Uh, but the founding members, you know, they came in early and uh, I've been able to watch the pace and some want to go slower, some want to go faster. So the advantage for you as a new member is you get to go as fast or slowly as you want to go. If you're a current member, let's say that you fell behind or you feel behind, which there really is no such thing, because again, your success path is not like anybody else's, but you can revisit the past masterclasses. Uh, with this new energy coming in. So how great is that? You know, you've got new members coming in. Um, perhaps you want to review, discover your soul because you wanted to spend more time. So again, that's a real advantage for either group. And then any level, any medium, any genre is open to all. We are a supportive community and we all have a lot to learn from each other. And meet our pro admin team. I think, let's see, do we have everybody? I think everybody's on the call. Um, all of our admins. So uh, say a big welcome to Rob Smales. You heard him earlier. Reed Ho is from Norway. This is her big, wonderful dog, Nelson. He doesn't even fit into the photo. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> this is Cynthia Lee is from Illinois and our lovely Lisa DeBates from Seattle. Belinda Persolia, all the way from Australia. She's drinking orange juice right now because it's so early for her. And Tim O'Neill is our wonderful uh, painter and art historian. And uh, so... You know, early on, I, I put this admin group together as an additional support network for all of you, because I want you all to feel like you're taken care of. And as I always tell my admin team, um, I, I, I really rely on their feedback. And this is a very diverse admin group. They're from all different you know parts of the world. Uh, their paintings are very different. Um, personalities are very different. And I feel like it's like the perfect cross section to get, you know, if I have a question, I reach out to one of them or all of them, we have our monthly calls and all of that, but you'll get to know them really well because they are fun and encouraging and supportive and warm and friendly and, and all those wonderful things. You'll get to meet them soon. Uh, here's just a couple snapshots of some of the <laughs> fun things we've been doing in masterclass one, all about discover your soul uh, we have so many uh, images in our in our pro Facebook group, but I grabbed just a few. And I believe this one's Robert Simmons. Um, Claudia Nows is one of these. And this is Tareels, I believe. I think that's Claudia's. And um, so these are just a few of the many examples that you can see in our pro Facebook group. Um, then we went on into mark making, which is all about the other design element of line. The very first one we started to study, that was masterclass too. So we do a deep dive into the um, design elements because the elements are our vocabulary. It's all we have. We only have seven design elements. We better know them very well. So it's all about pushing the boundaries. And then we moved into color. That's where we are right now. And the next master class will be on shape. And then it's going to be on texture and direction. And then it's going to be on value. And then we're going to move into abstract composition. So it doesn't matter where you join in. You just start at the beginning. You basically, through osmosis, like Shelly was saying, you just absorb 
the atmosphere and let it soak into your soul. It's kind of like the Montessori approach. For those of you who know what Montessori is, it's where you have young students with you know, elementary, second graders, third graders, all the way up to eighth graders. And you're all like kind of in there together. It's a very healthy mixture of uh, energy, questions, creativity, uh, expertise, and knowledge all in this melting pot where you get to share from each other. And I learn as much from beginners as I do from the experienced ones. Uh, I don't know if you feel that way, but I certainly do. And then um, what will you miss if you don't join between November 22nd and December 5th at 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time? You'll miss the ability to lock in the slow monthly price for life because the price will go up in six months and you'll have to wait six months for the next open enrollment. You won't have access to any pro member discounts on my other courses and you will miss out on a lot of growth that you could have now. I don't know about you, but I tend to be very impatient. If I had the choice between growing now and putting it off for six months, I would choose to grow now. And obviously you'll miss one of the best benefits um, of the pro membership is this amazing pro community. Uh, here's a painting by Kate Word. She has a big exhibition coming up in, I think it's January. And uh, so I had a couple of questions um, before I get into these, these were submitted, but does anyone have any other questions? Renee asked, hi, Pamela, what is your approach concerning figuration and symbols? I asked that because you principally talk about abstract. Are there some other fees? I think you offer other courses and in which context? Yes, fig figuration and symbols have to do with shape. And shape is something we're going to be doing in our next masterclass. We spent a whole masterclass on that. Again, it doesn't matter what genre. Uh, even though I am a non-objective artist, we have plenty of artists that are uh, semi-abstract, semi-realistic. We don't have any photorealistic artists yet, but if, if we did, it doesn't matter. If you understand the visual language of art, the beauty of this is that it's just like if you understand how to put letters into words and words into sentences and sentences into paragraphs and paragraphs into stories, you know the language. You can do anything you want. It's the same way in art. And it's never about the medium you're in. It's never about, oh gosh, you know, she's talking about non-objectivity. I can't do this because I'm a realist artist. Because in the end, if you boil it down and distill it, you know, like you would a stew, it comes down to the same seven design elements. It's all how you want to write your story. So you just have to understand how to use the language and then you write your own story. Um, that's a very, very important point that people get way too hung up on. Oh my gosh, you're painting abstraction. I'm a realist. I can't learn from you. Are you kidding me? I'm using the very same language you are. I'm just using my voice differently than you want to use your voice. Don't let that stop you. That is a huge, um, that would be like a huge misunderstanding of our visual language of art. And a lot of people just don't know that we have a visual language of art. And that's why you think that way. Sue asks, hi, Pam. I see a lot of abstract work on the internet that all looks similar, flat and formulaic without character, soul, and a bit of magic. It is easy to get caught up purely in the process without making it meaningful and finding one's own signature. This is where I would like to ultimately challenge myself while learning how to use process and technique to support ideas. Pressures of life sometimes make clear path difficult to navigate. I'm already a PDPC member and while having not completed this course yet, I'm hoping that by doing pro, it will help me get back on track. Yes, um, great, great comment here or question. Um, we do see a lot of abstraction on the internet. Type in abstract art and you know what's, what you're going to see is exactly what she said. You're gonna see a lot of color hit you in the face like, like a baseball. Uh, the problem is that it's not hard to make abstract art. It's, it's difficult to make abstract art that is well-designed and has your personal voice. So abstraction itself, um, throwing a bunch of paint down, a chimpanzee can do that, but we are not wanting that level of visual language. We want a much higher level that speaks our soul and that takes some work. And that's why we spend quite a bit of time dissecting the seven design elements to make sure that whatever we find we love, whatever we find we like, and whatever we find we don't like, is all factored in because we have choices. 
we have choices whether we want to make a flat formulaic painting that looks like everybody else or a deeply personal work that perhaps has hidden language in it that only we know about and it's well designed and we feel so strongly about it that we don't care what other people feel. That's where we want to get. And that's what this pro membership is all about. Again, I used to cringe when, when people would critique my work and, but then I'm at the point now where I know what I'm doing as far as my personal voice, nobody knows my personal voice. Like I do, I believe in myself. I have confidence and it does not matter one bit to me when I get comments on my YouTube channel saying, Oh, my three-year-old could do that. And Seriously, I've commented and said, thank you. That's actually a compliment because I love that you think my work is fresh and spontaneous like a three-year-old. That would be like the ultimate goal. Everybody has a different goal. Um, Beth asks, can I take your powerful design course and pro or should I take the course first? I would just say that they can be taken simultaneously. I think they complement each other. And, you know, in some ways, uh, the pro membership is, is really great if you're, you know, sort of like not really sure of yourself and, and you're just beginning because you will get a very thorough uh, chance to explore yourself as far as the seven design elements, which again, a lot of people don't even really know what that means. Even experienced artists. I didn't have that. I never had anybody say uh, 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 in all of my education, 30 years, workshops, courses, MFA, you know, you name it. I never had anybody present the types of lessons that I provide for you that help you to dive deeply into each one of these elements so that you understand the difference between what you love and what you don't love. Um, they're both very important sides of the very same coin. We, it's not only about what we love. We have to know what we don't love so that we can either use it in just very small amounts in a painting or not use it at all. And then Giovanna asks, I have a couple of questions. I understand the enrollment period is November 22nd to December 5th. This means the program starts December 15th. No, it actually starts the minute you enroll uh, because this is like a self-paced membership group. Again, any master class that's been published, you have access to, but I encourage you to go start with number one. And each master class is, if you want to think of it in terms of like a month of lessons, that's kind of how I would kind of gauge yourself. It's like, don't try to rip through it in a week and do everything because it would be pretty tough to do that. Um, I do have, I will have a, uh, a number of calls just for these new members to answer questions, help you get started, you know, that kind of thing. Does the pro program last six months, considering there's an order to the stages we follow? I, I'll show you the curriculum in, in just a second, but essentially I have 12 months already planned. And what will happen in the second year is I'm going to elevate all of the lessons, challenges, projects, exercises. And what I love about that is it pushes me and it's going to push you. And it's all going to happen kind of like what Rob was saying, like it, it happens without you really knowing it because it's not that hard. Things are not that hard when you do things consistently and gradually. It's when you stop and start and stop and start. And you feel like you, you've lost your momentum. You've lost your energy. You don't know where you left off. And it all feels like reinventing the wheel. Every time you go back into your studio, we have to avoid that. We have to stay in the game on a daily basis, even if it's in a very small way, even if it's only 10 minutes. And then does the fee go down if one wishes to have access to the Watch and Grow library? So the library is included. If you decide to cancel your membership, you can certainly just purchase the library. That's $9 a month instead of $20 a month, which includes the library. And then, um, so what I wrote here is yes, as soon as you enroll, you can get started. This is not a course or a workshop. It is steady method growth. You go at your own pace. The membership is available with new monthly content each month and it follows the success path and then repeats next time at a higher, deeper level. Any questions? Yeah, I like to speak to that point that you just made about it's not a course or a workshop because I think that's where so much of the confusion comes in when people yeah. are looking at which of these online groups to participate in. And I think what's so important about this one is that is that it's not, it's not courses, it's not a workshop. It's incredible amounts of information that we can use. And you're leading us through in a certain order through the, the design elements, which is very helpful. Um, and the order I think is very important. But what I love about this is that 
if I feel like I've gotten the goal of a particular module, I can wait to do some of the specific exercises if my time doesn't allow me to do that right now. I understand where it's going and how it relates. And I love the fact that I can move back and forth and in and out as my own time dictates and as my own um, interests and needs dictate for what I, I might get you know, distracted be, as I did with the sketchbook in, in one of the modules where I wanna spend a little more time on this and to do it in a slightly different way. And this, this um, pro program really does allow us, every one of us as artists, to pick and choose in ways that help us further our own individual art, artistic journeys. And I think that makes it very unusual. It's not just about a take a workshop do this assignment, do this assignment, do this assignment, do this assignment. It's much bigger and much broader and much more personal. And I just think that's a really important point to, yeah, for all of us to remember. Thank you, Cynthia. Yeah, you've been really, really helpful to me in understanding uh, just what you said. And I chatted with Cynthia yesterday because I like to bounce ideas off of her and she's always there for me. And um, she's been painting for ages. Uh, very, very advanced artist. She's one of our admin. And I just wanted to um, point this out. I actually put this slide together after I spoke with Cynthia, because I started to think, gosh, you know, if I look back on my 30 years, <laughs> and any one of you two in the chat, have you taken like, just put a number, how many workshops you've taken? I don't care what they are. <laughs> wow. Wow. Um, I would say for me personally, oh, yeah. gosh, 15, at least 20, something like that. So and, and I had done an interview, it's in the uh, library with, let me think of her name. Uh, she had just gotten back from a workshop and she was, you know, here's what happens with my experience with any workshop. You go there, you're super excited, everybody's excited. And, you know, you've got this high. It's like, it's like a quick fix, right? And then you come home and it's like, well, there's nobody there anymore and you're by yourself and you're like, well, you either took notes or you didn't. And you're trying to remember what was taught. And you're like, oh my gosh, for me, my energy would just like drain. And I'd be like, I need to take a nap for the next week. <laughs> so I look at workshops is um, my own experience, but I want to know if you guys feel the same way. They're kind of like short-term gains, right? If you want a quick fix, that's what a workshop is. Yes, you're going to learn something. I feel personally, the energy and progress is usually not sustainable. Like uh, you come back, maybe you're gone for a week, whatever it is, you can't maintain that energy and progress on your own in your studio by yourself. It just is not really possible. And you must usually take them again and again for your next quick fix every six months every year, every three months, every month, whatever you're doing. And it gets expensive. I teach workshops and I'm like, seriously, they're paying $2,500 for the hotel and food and, and tuition. And oh my gosh. So I do know that education costs money. So how do you want to spend your hard earned dollars? Do you want a short-term gain or do you want something that is a long-term gain? And I think that's, you know, it kind of dawned on me that that is what I'm offering. So pro is not a workshop or a course. It's a comprehensive membership. I give you bite-sized lessons along a path that lays a solid foundation. Each lesson's about anywhere from five minutes to half an hour, but I try to like limit myself to 30 minutes so that you can grab it before breakfast or as you're in your car, listening on your phone, or you just want to listen to the lesson while you're painting, you know, whatever suits your style and your time. Each month of lessons builds on the previous. I re recommend you go in order of the success path. Okay. You don't want to have your dinner before your breakfast. You don't want to have your dessert before your lunch. There's a reason why we go in this order because each lesson builds on the previous one, but you go at your own pace. If you're in a hurry, you're, you know, you, you want to get into grad school or something, fly through it. It's all there for you. If it's published, go for it. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. And again, these are long-term lifelong gains. The, once you have the information in your head and you own that information, you own it. Okay. You're not going to forget it. And the reason you're not going to forget it is because every lesson builds on the previous one, and you're going to practice what, what you just learned in the previous lesson so that you own it even more. And it has to be that way. 
because otherwise, you know, art is way too confusing. If you, if somebody hands you the design elements and says, go for it. And that's what I had happen in a workshop. And I looked around the room and I saw everybody with these glazed eyes and the instructor didn't give any guidance on how to, how to use the design elements. This has to be a systematic long-term approach to your education. And it has to be sustainable growth that you can see and feel. If you don't see and feel anything happening inside of you, then I want you to reach out to me and say, why am I not growing? And I will help you identify what you're not doing. Okay. I know that you, this can help you. Um, I know that in my heart. And so for artists of all levels who struggle and have lost momentum or need support, uh, pro is likely for you. Um, Stephanie wanted to know what is the master class critique that is currently in the library? So where are they? You're asking? What, what is it? Oh, okay. Well, when I ran, I had my own, um, master class critique, uh, membership group, and it ran for two years. I concluded that in the spring of 2021 and decided to uh, create the pro group instead. And most of the masterclass critique members moved into pro. Now, what they were getting was a critique um, every other week. Uh, I did six critiques every other week and uh, in great detail. And they are all in the Watch and Grow library. Uh, so two years with uh, two critiques a month. Somebody do the math for me. <laughs> I don't know how many that is, but that's yeah, yeah. a lot of critiques and they cover all kinds of problems that people have when they're trying to finish their work. And I took work that was either in like the middle stage to the end stage. If they were in the play stage, that wasn't developed enough for me to say, well, there's nothing to critique. You have to have developed your pain to a certain level with a certain degree of intent before I can even step in and help you. And when we get to a critique portion of our success path, what I intend to do, I'm going to be choosing, I'm going to curate um, the work that I, that I critique uh, partly. And then of course some can submit, but the, the prerequisite for that is you must have completed the master classes that lead up to critique. So if you're just, joined, I'm not going to take your work for critique. You must have gone through the first, whatever it is, seven master classes. But again, this is the curriculum. I'll just quickly run through that. Like month, this is month one, or it's approximately a month's worth of lessons, right? So discover your soul. You can spend a month on that. And then we go into the design elements. We start with line and personal mark making. We spend more time. This is where we are now, now with the infinite color and then we move into shape and size, two more design elements, then we move into texture and direction, then we move into value. Um, again, these are so important. This is like the foundation of everything you do. Uh, and after that, then we get into the abstract compositions. That'll be three full master classes. So that's upcoming. And here, only now do we get to clarify. So if you want your work to be critiqued, um, you will need to have gone through master classes one through nine, and I have ways of checking that. So there's that. And then celebrate is where we um, kind of celebrate at the, um, the end of the success path. So we celebrate every kind of success. There's questions about joining. So I don't know if you want those now or... Sure. Renee asked, will it start January or December? Rebecca wanted to know, does she just go to the website and join on November 22nd? Find it. Wanted to know, can she start next week? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I, I encourage the, those of you who are not in yet and are on the waiting list to mark your calendar, get a big red Sharpie and mark November 22nd through December 5th. Um, I happen to be Mountain Standard Time, so I'm closing it at 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on December 5th. Uh, and at that time, I will be emailing you a link where you can enroll. Now, right now, it is, um, I'm going to share my screen again. I'm going to show you exactly where the link will take you. Here's my Art and Success um, website. Um, if you look here, it, it says artandsuccess.com. And under shop is where all of my courses are and all of my memberships. I have two memberships and it's down here. So I will send you the link, but if for some reason you can't find my email or whatever happens and you forget to check your email, all you have to do is come to my website, artandsuccess.com, click on shop. Okay, that's kind of like a hint. And then um, 
come down to the membership here, you click this. And even though right now it says, I want in, you know, get on the priority waiting list. This is not going to be here. It's going to say join now. Okay. So it's like right here, all you have to do is come here and this is the link I'll send you. All you have to do is come here, click, and you're in. Uh, no, it does not start in January. If you, if you sign up on November 22nd, it starts on November 22nd. If you start on November 25th, it starts on November 25th. So if I click on view product, this is what your art and success pro membership looks like. When you join between November 22nd and December 5th, what you're going to need to do is kind of get yourself ready, right? Because there's a lot of information and I want you to understand everything about the membership. I want you to maximize your membership. So there's a summary of what's included. There's a member's map to find out who might be near you and location, but you're going to click this big button here. Hopefully you can't miss it. That's why it says start here. And that's going to take you into this little introductory area where you listen to these short videos, like five minutes, um, 13 minutes. Okay. That's an hour, but that was a live call. Uh, how to join Facebook, meet our pro admin team. You definitely want to listen to that video. Um, tell me about you and, you know, various things. Here's the coupons on the courses, right? So when you join, you're going to click on this start button and, and start going through this preliminary stuff. And then let's say you've done that and you're like, okay, great. I, I know what I'm doing. I want to jump into the master classes. Great. They're right here. All you have to do is click on that and you have access. You're not waiting for me to email you anything. Again, this is your journey. I'm providing you with the lessons. You go as fast or slow as you want. Here's master class one, master class two, master class three, pretty soon master class four will be here. Again, we're just getting started ourselves. I want to thank you all too. Um, I invited quite a few of our members here and all of our admin. I try to make myself pretty available. I have a complete support system with a ticket so that like if you email me, a ticket gets given to you so that I don't lose your email and I will get back to you and our admin is there to support you. So with that, if there are no more questions, I want to let you go. And thank you so much for being here. I just love all you guys that, that I know of you who are in pro already and are admin. Um. Anyone who's on the fence about joining this pro group, please put your fears aside and jump in with both feet because it's just so awesome to learn from Pam because she conveys nothing but sincerity and all of her knowledge, and she's so willing to share. And I think that's the easiest way I know for myself personally to learn. And um, it's been a marvelous experience. And I just look forward to this program going on and on and on. So Aww, good luck, you, everyone. Thank you. I do too. I, I love each masterclass. I can't wait to launch each new one. So <laughs> thank you guys. Bye. Bye.